So what were the best products that Audioholics reviewed in 2019? Let's do a review on the products of the year. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasala with Audioholics. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. And I wanted to go over the list of all the products that we covered that we thought stood out in 2019. So we've looked at a good diversity of products this year between different receivers, tons of loudspeakers, bookshelf, floor standing, subwoofers. You know, we are baseaholics. We looked at a lot of subwoofers. And you know, we just got a good feel for what was out in 2019. And we can't give everything an award, and there were certainly lots of products that deserved it, but we wanted to talk about the stuff that really stood out at certain price points or had certain features that other products in that category did not. So first on our list is the Smart Home Remote, and this is from Control 4, it's called their Neo Remote, and the retail on it is $600. Now we were following Neo back when they were a Kickstarter many years ago, and then Control 4 bought them out and then we didn't hear from them for over a year. So we were kind of wondering what happened to that remote company. Well, I'm very proud to say that Control 4 has picked up that awesome platform and now integrated it into their own architecture, into their own system. And the, what I really like about the Neo Remote, and I will be doing a separate re video review on this, I like the fact that it's really compact, you could hold it in one hand, and it has an excellent graphical interface and it also has tactile buttons below that interface. And it really lets you take advantage of OS3. The OS3 is the latest platform from Control 4. And um, you know, I have the SR260 handheld remote and I have the touchscreen remote. The SR260 is great when you're doing basic stuff, but you can't, it's hard to, um, to do music streaming through it and, and to get all your music pulled up because there's no graphical interface on it. And then their touchpad is, does everything, but it can be bulky and you want to have something that's more compact in your hand. That's why I really like the Neo remote for $600. It's a great buy. Uh, the fact that once you have your whole Control 4 system fully programmed, you can literally connect it to your Wi-Fi and it automatically uploads the uh, firmware and the interfaces with your Control 4 system without having to call an installer to come back to your house and program it. So it's an awesome remote, guys. If you're into smart home remotes, please check out the Neo from Control 4. So let's move on to the next product, and this is an 11-channel AV receiver. And we covered a lot of receivers this year. We talked about the truth and power and how a lot of the companies are overinflating their power ratings and receivers. We went out to the Sound United event, and that's when we really kind of kicked off this whole truth and power movement. And Denon, Marantz, all those guys were very receptive to it. I like that they're, they're honestly rating their power with showing two channels driven first before they show the one channel driven nonsense. So the one thing I really liked about their AVRX 3600H is for $1,100, it's the only receiver on the market that I'm aware of that has nine internal amplifiers rated at 105 watts a channel but the secret is it has 11 channels of processing. So the cool thing about that is if you want to add a two channel amp, let's say you want to get like a big Rotel or a big Parasound amp or even the Monoprice amp, whatever, you could assign those to your front channels and then use the nine internal amps for the rest of the channels to do a 7.2.4 surround system for immersive audio. It supports Dolby Atmos, supports, supports DTS-X, and it has, of course, Odyssey with the Odyssey Editor app. So this receiver just does a lot of great things for the price class. And even on Amazon, they have sales sometimes for under $900. In fact, I think we linked that up in our product of the year article. But the one unique feature is, in addition to the 11 channel processing, is you could reassign those front channel amps. So you get a full preamp disconnect from the rest of the product. So that preamp output is really clean. So it's like having your own dedicated processor. So if you're really looking at getting into 11 channels of um, immersive audio, that AVRX 3600 is a hell of a deal for 1100 bucks, especially if you add a two channel amp to supplement its power. Check it out guys, it's a great product. 
I know it's selling a ton of them. Uh, they're always out of stock when I look on Amazon or I look on the denim website. So you know it's a, it's a really good seller for a good reason. So let's move on. Now we have the budget bookshelf speakers. These are from RSL. We love RSL. RSL is a locally uh, family owned company from California. They've been around for a long time and we've been covering their products for several years. So now they've taken their products to upscale. They have the CG5 bookshelf speaker. They retail for 400 each, but they're on sale uh, for a special anniversary for 700 a pair. And then the CG25s, uh, which are 500 each on sale for 425. The CG25 is an MTM and the CG5 is just a regular two-way. And they have a five and a quarter inch driver, a silk, uh, one inch silk dome tweeter. They measure really well, they sound great, especially when you pair them with uh, a couple of subwoofers. And in fact, RSL has a great deal on their subs. It's the Speedwoofer 10S, I think it's $400 shipped and it's got a really potent 10 inch driver that performs like a 12. So when you get two of those subs and you get this whole CG5 system, you're talking some serious performance with great cosmetics and it's all in a compact form factor. So do check out RSL, they're a great company and we really like their products. So next up I wanna talk about high-end uh, bookshelf speakers and Quite frankly, these are pricey, but you get what you pay for. It's the Revel, um, it's their BEM126. And let me tell you about this product. Revel has a lot of science behind them with Harman. So they have their very um, patented waveguide system that really gets excellent dispersion through the tweeter. It matches the directivity of the mid-range. So it is such a seamless blend between the mid-range and the tweeter. It's all based on real science. There's no snake oil in these products. And they're four grand a pair. They have a six and a half inch ceramic aluminum cone woofer, cast basket, and the secret sauce in that product is that beryllium tweeter. Some of the best dome tweeters on the market tend to be the beryllium cone uh, domes. There's only a few companies that make that beryllium tweeter. They're one of them. And you should see the magnet structure on this tweeter. It's like, it's big enough to be a woofer. I mean, this thing, these things have serious drive. They are about the best measuring bookshelf speaker we've ever measured and probably the best sounding as well. So for four grand a pair, if you're building a really upscale system, if you just want to do a two channel system in a small room or you want to supplement it with subwoofers, these speakers are hard to beat. They just disappear in the room. They sound effortless and they're just beautiful to look at. Awesome speakers, check out from Revel, the 126 BEs. So let's move on um, for budget speakers. So we're gonna, we're gonna flip to the other end of the spectrum now. We're looking at from Dayton Audio, and I'm sorry I have to look at these model numbers because they're hard to remember. It's the MK442T tower speaker and they're 228 a pair from Dayton Audio. We've covered a variety of Dayton Audio speakers in the past. They have the same driver technology, the same four inch driver, the same three quarter inch silk dome tweeter. But what makes this product unique is it's in a transmission line enclosure. So it's a small, uh, slim tower and they use transmission line technology the way they do the porting of the system to supplement the base. So you get a good amount of bass from such a compact form factor. And the fact that we're even talking about a pair of speakers under $250 that have bass, it was unheard of maybe a decade ago. So these speakers do really well. Um, I would say in a small to medium sized room, you probably wouldn't even need a subwoofer. And it, they're great for a dorm if your kids are going away to school and they want a pair of speakers with a cheap receiver. The Dayton Audio uh, MK442T is a really good speaker to look at, so check them out. So moving on, we want to look at high-end towers. Now let me tell you about this. When we went to the Sound United event, we took a look at all their new products and you know, I was like, eh, nothing surprising. You know, iterations of products is what I expected to see when I went to Sound United. I did not expect to see the product that Polk unveiled and I had to be quiet about it for a couple of months until they released them. It's the Polk L800 and it features their SDA technology. That's the stereo dimensional array. And they have a pair of drivers on the outside and on the inside of the cabinet and they use that for interoral crosstalk cancellation. And when I looked at the speaker and I didn't really know what was going on at first, I thought it was kind of a gimmick. Until I sat down and I heard such a wide sound stage, I thought I was listening to 5.1 and I found out I was only listening to two channel. And these speakers are really unique. There's nothing on it 
like it on the market. They're, everything's done in the analog domain, so there's a common cable between the two speakers. So one speaker does left minus right on the outer drivers, the other speaker does right minus left on the outer driver on that side, and then you're left with the stereo array in the middle, flanked with two 10-inch um, high excursion drivers, so you got a lot of bass. They retail for six grand a pair. We actually have a very formal review coming soon on these speakers with measurements. So nobody else in the industry would do these kind of measurements that we're gonna have and we're gonna have listening tests and everything else. But I'm gonna tell you guys that this speaker kind of blew me away and it was a unique product and it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're building only a two channel system, but you wanna have that sound of like having surround sound, depending on the kind of music you listen to, because you need to have music that has real stereo content to take advantage of this array. So it's a great speaker. Stay tuned for our review on that and we'll talk more about that later. So let's move on. We've got subwoofers next. We've got the Compact Subwoofer Award goes to SVS. It's the SB3000, and it retails for $1,000, and that's free shipping. And they give you a 45-day return policy with a five-year warranty. Now let me tell you something about subwoofer amps and warranties. Subwoofer plate amps are notoriously some of the least reliable products on the market. So for a company to give you a five-year warranty on their plate amp, speaks volumes for the quality of their product and the customer service. So right there, that's worth it in gold. So if you have any problems with that sub in five years, they'll replace the amp. Um, what we liked about that sub is that 13 inch driver was designed really well. And I know the, the 3000 series is kind of the middle child from SVS, but you should take a long look at them because they offered excellent performance. The SB3000, which is the sealed version of that system, is in about a 15 inch cube. And that 13 inch driver performs almost on par with a 15. And it gives you our medium basaholic room size rating. But if you have the space and you have the, you don't mind the eyesore of having a bigger box in your room, the PB3000 just gets our extreme basaholic rating. And it's a similar design, only it's ported. And both of them have an 800 watt amplifier, so they have real power behind them. They're well engineered products. You can't get them to distort. Take a look at our formal review with all the measurements on it, and you'll see it's just well-engineered execution, good-sounding product, excellent value, especially with that 45-day return policy and the five-year warranty. So check out, check out the SVS 3000 series subwoofers. And finally, we have a bruiser among us. It's the Monoprice Monolith M215 dual 15-inch subwoofer, retails for 2,500 bucks, has a 2000 watt amp with those two 15 inch giant drivers with a big slotted port on the bottom. This sub is massive. I mean, this is like a refrigerator sized subwoofer. It has over 120 dB of output across the whole spectrum of bass, which is, you know, and that's at two meters RMS ground plane. So that's a lot of output. It easily exceeds our extreme bassaholic room size rating. It is probably the most powerful sub on the market in this price, in this price class. Um, the only caveat to it is it's super big, super heavy. Monoprice does not give free shipping on the subwoofer as far as I can tell. But if you are an extreme baseaholic and you don't mind having something this large in a room, this is the sub subwoofer to check out. Um, if you can't fit it, um, I do recommend checking out their single 15-inch model. We have reviewed that last year, and that does, ex that does meet our extreme basaholic room size rating. And the trick is, it's like almost half the price, like $1,300. Monoprice gives free shipping on that one. So if you got two of those subs, you could strategically put them in a room for better base so you could have seat to seat consistency that's better than you would get with a single giant sub. But the argument could be made you can get two of the M215s and just blow the windows out of your house. So either way, I mean, both subwoofers are solid recommendations. Monoprice has really come a long way with their subwoofers, with their amplifiers, and with their speakers too. We reviewed some of their speakers this year that were just excellent. And this Monoprice subwoofer is THX certified, as are their new speakers. So there's just a lot of great products this year. I'm uh, very grateful that we were able to cover these products and that you guys paid attention and you really were receptive to our reviews. We're looking forward to a great 2020. I hope we can get into some um, smart home integration again, get into some more advanced products. There's a lot of 16 channel processors that are out now that I wanna take a look at. 
So why don't you give me your suggestions down below on the products you want us to cover. Tell me what your favorite products were for 2019. I'm curious to see if it aligns with our list down here. And don't forget about our Patreon channel, patreon.com slash audioholics. There are many benefits to becoming a patron. You get our content sooner. You get access to our PDFs and to our slideshow presentations on technical stuff that we do. So it's just, it's a cool time to be an audioholic and we appreciate your support. We had a great year this year and we look forward to seeing you more in 2020. And until next time, my friends, keep listening and have a happy new year.